Welcome to the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places. 17-0, ugly first half. The five turnovers, the Patrick Peterson pick six for the Cardinals. Arizona dominating Dallas just outside. A big D as we welcome you to the Toyota Halftime. Thrilled to be with the Super Bowl champions, Hall of Famer Tony Dungy and Rodney Harrison here in the studio. Mike Florio joins us in a second. I'm a Dallas fan. I'm sitting at home and watching the Cowboys, and they look awful. Yeah, Should I'm, they be worried? Yes, I'm worried. I'm worried about their offense, and just they haven't been on the field together, turnovers, coach, and then they didn't play their young quarterback in the most important preseason game, game three. Yeah, but their defense has actually played well, so mm -hmm. I'm happy if I'm a Dallas fan. All right, Arizona not playing their first-round pick, the quarterback Josh Rosen, as Alan, uh, Chris told you. Josh Allen, the first-round pick for for Buffalo was in action earlier today. Seventh overall pick, Bills in Orchard Park, hosting Cincinnati, only other game of the day. Good news, he completed six passes. Bad news, he got sacked five times. <laughs> Bad news is the offensive line stinks. That's right, remember, A.J. McCarron got hurt because he got hit in a preseason game. Allen got beat up today, and this Carlos Dunlap hit, knocks him out of the game, in concussion protocol, but cleared to come back. He didn't return in the Bengals' win over the Bills. Yeah, he did not have a chance today. So we're talking about these five quarterbacks taken in the first round. If you're tracking or trending with nothing official yet, you would think Darnold and Allen, the two in the AFC East, are the most likely to start week one. Baker Mayfield, the number one overall pick, likely to be on the bench week one. Yeah, we know he's not going to start, and I don't understand that from the Cleveland Browns. You took him number one. You thought he was the best of this group, and you're not going to play him. The only way he's going to get better is get in the game and play. I look at Tyrod Taylor. I think he came in. He earned the starting job, coach. At least give him the first month of the season, <laughs> and if he's one and three, maybe you make a change, but he's earned it. You, you can't just give a guy a job just because he's the number one pick. We've seen the leadership. You watch Hard Knocks, you can see Taylor is the leader of that team so far. So those are two overarching themes in the NFL this preseason. The rookie quarterbacks and the helmet rule and ducking the head and the contact. Mike Florio will bring him in from Pro Football Talk. So Mike, conference call with the competition committee this week. What changed as we've watched week three preseason games? Well, you know, officially there's been no change to a rule that is written very broadly to prohibit lowering the helmet and initiating contact. Unofficially, though, I think what we're seeing is a narrowing of the focus of the rule to ban hits that amount to spearing and the numbers already are down from 27 penalties in week two of the preseason all the way down to nine in week three we'll see if that trend continues into the regular season your thoughts coach dungeon well mike what i'd like to see them do is officially write the rule the way they want to say it that's what coaches and players want tell us exactly what we can do consistency yes that's the demand all the way around Roddy, i want to ask you richard sherman before this conference call happened with the folks on the competition committee on wednesday he called the new rule idiotic was his word he even tweeted that out earlier in the week he said there's no way you can tackle the way they're asking people to do it what's your reaction to Sherman's statement well, I have a lot of respect for Richard Sherman and I understand what he's talking about but anytime and but I agree with the NFL anytime you're trying to make the game safer I think it's a good thing Richard is saying that he's 30 years old I'm 45 years old I've been removed from the NFL for 10 years and I tell you it's no fun waking up when you have sensitivity lights when you have headaches when you have migraines so I understand exactly what the NFL is trying to do they're trying to make the game safer these guys may not realize it now but when they're 10 years out the league and they're walking around around and they have a lot of head pains coach then you'll realize what the NFL is trying to do and the experience that you have is speaks a, a lot about the topic that is the topic of the conversation thus far in the preseason when we come back a little bit of Peter King's tour around the National Football League Arizona by 17 at the break special was the memorable play. It was a special celebration in Philly and will be in 11 nights. We cannot wait to be there. The banner is unfurled. Philly celebrates the Eagles title and then the season kicks off right here on NBC against the Atlanta Falcons. Carson Wentz still not cleared for contact so we'll see the Super Bowl MVP Nick Foles at quarterback for Philly. And that's what they should do. Carson Wentz is their quarterback of the future but Nick Foles Super Bowl MVP. He can handle it. Make sure Wentz is totally healthy before he goes. Don't forget about those boys in Atlanta coach because there's a lot of excitement 
down there. They add, add, added Calvin Ridley. They added some pieces on defense. I think they're legit contenders to get to the Super Bowl. Remember, we were there for the playoff game, all standing right by right the goal in line the there. Zone on the fourth down play, Julio's got the ball to they win the game. Close. Hey, Peter King was in Philadelphia, one of the th stops on his 30th annual training camp tour. He hit over 20 teams, went from coast to coast, and as is always the case, he had a great time doing it. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. How big a pick was Matt Ryan? Whatever it takes for us to get the Super Bowl. Newman. Newman. Ice tea and lemonade. Arnold Palmer. After training camp, you got to go have a nice beer at Tonewood Freshies. I'm doing all right. Yeah, you are doing good. <laughs> You're cheating. You're looking. <laughs> Who's the last person you said I love you to? I love you. You, Peter. <laughs> You'll love Peter's <laughs> Football Morning in America every Monday, NBCSports.com. Back to Arlington for the second half. Al Chris and Michelle with Arizona leading 17 to nothing. This has been the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places.